Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I have a speed art for you guys of a grocery store delivery app that allows you to search for a product, select the product you want from a list of stores that you apply as filters. Next, you can customize it a little bit. So if I want a single bottle of water or I want a 24 pack, I can select between the two. I can choose how many of those I want, so the quantity, and then I can choose the store I want it shipped from. So that's the design I'm going to be going through in this video. I'm going to create about three screens, and at the end, I animated this off camera so you guys can see the overall concept. So recently in my videos, I have talked about my new method for wireframing, and it's using basic shapes, and usually they're gray colors and different tones, and I much prefer this over a huge detailed wireframe on paper. So I do still do a bit of sketching, as I've mentioned, uh, but I do like this a lot better, just straight in XD. And I read some articles recently uh, that are very interesting that also follows a lot of these principles. It's called The Invisible Forces of Design. So it was a series of three articles that I read written by David Cadavy. And they talk about alignment, direction, focus, size, contrast, balance, spacing, and shape. And what really got me to start reading this is in the beginning it talks about elements and how you shouldn't look at Things in your design is fonts, colors, images, and text, but you should think of them as elements, which is exactly what I'm trying to do in my new wireframing method. And so this is supposed to make you look at your design and see things you normally wouldn't, such as space and alignment and focal points and sizing and all these things that it talks about in the article, the overall invisible forces of design. And each of these articles gives you different things to focus on, such as alignment, uh, so if you align things to the left and then you have something aligned centered but it's the full width of the page it works but not only does it work if they cross over it creates focal points and so you can use those to draw the user's eye to different areas of the screen another thing i really liked is in the second article it talked about the golden ratio and different ratios in design so if you guys haven't heard of the golden ratio it's like it's this magical ratio that everybody says is supposed to be perfect and it's found the most common in nature i believe i haven't read about it a lot uh, but that's what I remember and I hope that's correct But one thing I found very interesting in this article is he pulled a bunch of users on four different squares Okay, so three were rectangles and one was just a normal square and Each one had a different ratio one was the golden ratio and I forget what the other ones were But he just asked a bunch of users which one they found more attractive and surprisingly the golden ratio wasn't the most voted, but it was about even with the rest. All the three different ratioed uh, rectangles uh, were very highly voted, around 30%. And the regular square was voted 8%. So he talks about how he's just trying not to get you caught up on a certain ratio. And anything is going to look better than just a normal square. And so I tried to use that on my font. He showed different examples of fonts in this and how he used a .75 scale font instead of a golden ratio because it's easier to do the math. So I tried that in this video and I think my fonts actually look a lot better than in my past designs. I found out also that the font sizes that I normally use without trying to use some kind of golden ratio or anything is fairly close to this. So it doesn't look too off uh, than my normal designs, but I can tell a decent size difference that they are on a ratio and they do look a lot more natural to me. And it's very, very useful article as you can already tell. And I tried to practice a lot of the things I learned in the article in this video. And there's just so much you can cover upon these three simple articles that he wrote. And I highly recommend you guys go check them out. Links are in the description. I don't want to cover too much about them because I don't want to take away from the articles or anything. But a lot of these principles I'm going to be thinking about as I design in the future and hopefully creating more beautiful designs because of it. So thank you guys for watching this. David, if you see this, thank you for writing those articles. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Thanks for watching the video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you, and the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.